Today on Geek Smart, we're gonna take a peek at another small wireless security camera. This one from Vizui. So this one is a solar powered one that actually has a very unique solar power design. It's actually built into the top of the camera rather than being a separate panel that you have to mount separately or really towers off the existing mount for the camera. This is an all-in-one, one thing to mount, one thing to set up and go. So we're gonna get this out of the box, take a peek how it all comes, get it set up here, right here at the table, make sure it's fully operational, connected to Wi-Fi, good to go. Then go outside, mount the darn thing, and uh, see how she goes. So, let's get started. Hey folks, welcome back to Geek Smart. Let's uh, get this guy out of the box, to start at least. Now, I am a huge fan of security cameras. I love them, from all walks of life. And the thing is, wired cameras don't always work. You do have to have wireless cameras in some situations. You may not have power available to you, whichever. Um, there's a sticker right there, 24 hour surveillance sticker, uh, manual. Uh, but yeah, cameras like this make a lot of sense because I do have a couple cameras around my house um, that currently are wireless, they're cordless, they just go over Wi-Fi and they're battery operated. But I have to, you know, every month, couple months, I have to bring them back up to the house to get them charged back up overnight usually. Um, and having something like this with a built-in solar panel on top without having the separate, uh, you know, solar panel somewhere else, this is pretty handy. Now, I will say this, having a built-in the camera means wherever you place the camera has to have uh, sun beating down on it. The nice thing about having a camera separate with the panel is that you can mount the camera wherever you want to mount it. As long as the panel is within the core distance of it, uh, you can mount that in a sunny spot. This, it will be in a sunny spot. So this specific camera from Vizui um, is that specifically. So uh, let's see what else comes with it. We do have a USB a to C charging cord. We do have four mounting screws as well as uh, drywall anchors for them. A sticker that is a basically a, a stencil to, to drill the holes for mounting this camera. Like we already saw the sticker over here for 24 hour surveillance plus the uh, actual manual. And then we obviously have the camera with the mount that's already pre-attached to it. Now, this has, if we loosen this collar up right here, uh, that allows you to move the ball mount kind of. Um, and so we can, you know, aim this however we please once we get this mounted. And if I unscrew this, does it come all the way off? Yes, it does come all the way off. So we can mount this where we want it and then come back and attach the camera. Now that's what we're gonna do. Let's go down here. If we actually flip up this little uh, rubber seal here, this is where we're gonna have the micro SD memory card slot, as well as the USB slot. And there's a reset button mm -hmm. and a power button in there as well. All hidden underneath the camera behind a little weather resistant rubber sleeve. There is a speaker hole here. There is a QR code here to get this uh, attached to the app. And of course, the main thing is the solar panel and the camera lens out front. Now this, I'm gonna take this protective plastic off right here. Oh, that didn't do anything. There's protective plastic on the lens. I'll take that off and it looks like there's, get a hold of it. There we go. All right, all the protective plastic is now off of the camera and uh, we can get this guy set up. Okay, to get started, I am gonna get a memory card in here. I do have a 128 gig uh, micro SD card that I'm gonna get loaded in this guy real quick. So in the slot right here, separate, put this guy down, click into place, good to go. Now, to start, I'm actually gonna push and hold the power button here. There we go, push and hold for several seconds. Now, there's a red light blinking. So over here on this side, we have the app, and I searched the Cloud Edge app. That's the app that we're gonna be using for this. So Cloud Edge, I'm gonna hit open since I've already downloaded here. Uh, yep, I'm gonna allow notifications. And now I'm gonna have to actually create an account. So at the bottom down here, no account yet. Uh, we're gonna hit sign up now, and I'm gonna start this process. I'll be right back. Next is the sign up page where you fill out your information and uh, confirm your password. I'm gonna hit done. Okay, so now we're in here, we're in my home and I'm gonna hit add a device. So, or let's see, scan code add. Let's try that. Let's go to the bottom of the camera. We have this QR code right here. I'm gonna hit allow on the camera app to see it. There's the camera. I'm gonna select that. Let's enter configuration at the bottom. Hold the, hold the power device to start, to start the device, the which I've already done. Please, Please reset, reset the device. The device. Please hold the reset, reset button. button. For five Got it. Seconds. Let's do that quick. Wait. Don't see anything flashing red yet. Or maybe it turned itself off because it was waiting. Let's turn the power on. 
I think in order to do this, I'm gonna have to get it charged up. So now that I have that, I'm gonna hold the power button. And now I'm getting red. I just don't think it has any battery left in it. And as soon as I did that, look at that, I found it right away. So now I'm gonna select my Wi-Fi and I'm gonna put in my password. Awesome. I'm gonna hit allow. There's my camera. So I'm gonna select that camera. Oh, I guess I just hit next, here we go. Um, my home, that's fine, I hit done. Please use the adapter to fully charge the camera before using it. That makes sense. It wouldn't make sense why it kept dying because it was dead. Hit put next, camera put camera on the... the... place of camera installation. Press next to enter network diagnostic. We're going to hit next. Because we're going to get it all set up right here. So it does say strong. I'm going to allow it to access my camera. Yep, let's hit play. And we can pull up the actual feed itself. And there we have it. From here, oh, set here, switch resolution here, experience here. Okay, there we go. Okay, auto resolution, I can always do QHGs to get the highest quality out of this. But of course, if you ever on a cellular network connection and it's a low connection, you're probably gonna wanna reduce that. Um, screenshot, hold to talk. Oh, let's hit allow. Test, 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 test. test. Hey, look at that, that's pretty awesome. We can record, we can do check on the motion detection down here and change the detection sensitivity, humanoid de detection sensitivity, oh that is pretty cool. Power saving mode, performance mode, custom mode, pretty cool. Now, one thing we wanna do before we actually get this done is um, top right corner is where the settings look like they are. We wanna to get to the recording management here and unknown because we, uh, it looks like it actually is formatting right now. Okay, I'm gonna go back to that video recording management and it looks like it's good. 117, so it's seeing the entire memory card there. Sound settings, we can change those. Um, there is cloud storage capability. If I click on that, let's take a peek at this. So cloud storage looks like 299 or 399 a month, depending on if you want the AI plus capability. Basic cloud storage after opening gets six seconds of cloud storage video for free. So let's turn that on. I always like free stuff. Uh, AI intelligent analysis. So we can turn, tur okay, so this is something that you have to buy. That's part of that 399 if you want the AI intelligent uh, analysis capability. Um, receive notifications, image capabilities. These are things that we're gonna have to check, but right now, intelligent vision, full color night vision, black and white night vision. And these are things that you might wanna play with depending on where you have it set. Image set as what we just did. Uh, video encryption, information on that. You can actually do the device encryption if you'd like. Ring settings, advanced service. Link with Alexa or Google Home. Cool. Well, there we go. We have uh, our camera fully set up. Now we'll actually have to go out and mount the darn thing. Okay, so I'm outside on one of my sheds and I'm looking to actually mount this guy like kind of up in here. Gets good sun in the, during the day, and it just covers the backside of my yard that my other cameras currently cannot see. And so that's where I want to put it. Now I could take the sticker and put it on there and drill it out, but in this case I don't think I'm going to even need the drill. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to get this guy screwed on real quick and then we'll worry about getting the camera set up here. And that's that. Let me grab the camera. Okay, so a little closer here so you can see what's going on here. With this guy here, we're just going to go ahead and thread this onto this. Before we get too crazy on it, I want to get it oriented how I want it to see. And, uh, and then I can tighten that sleeve down. And then of course, before I actually leave, I want to make sure it's level, so I want to get the app out. Open up the Cloud Edge app. Okay, so now you can see here on the side here where, what I'm seeing. And so I can get this guy oriented how I want it. I'm worried about my property, not the property behind me or anything. And to see my dogs or anything that's back here in this corner. And that's my garden fence. So, I think right there. That's good, now let me tighten it down. And there we are. So there's what she looks like on the building. I apologize for the wind, it is extremely windy out today. But uh, that's it. Now she can soak up the sun. I did fully charge it before we came out to finish up the uh, mounting. Uh, which it probably took an hour and a half, hour, two hours somewhere in there, but now we just let it go. So that is the full setup of the Vizui 2K all-in-one solar-powered camera. Um, 
all you need is a Phillips screwdriver or a screw gun, and you might need a small drill bit, if uh, depending on what you're mounting it into. Aside from that, really easy to set up. The app was easy to set up. The camera was easy to set up. And now that it's fully charged and out in the sun, should maintain itself. It's gonna be interesting to see what it does now that we're getting colder outside, uh, how well it does in the wintertime eventually. I'll have probably more videos on this product. I will have a review product down the road. I'm gonna be leaving on vacation here in a week for two weeks. So it's gonna be several weeks before I get back to this, but I wanted to make sure I get this setup video done because that's the important thing. How does this thing work getting it set up? So initial thoughts all point to solid camera. We'll see what everything does in the end. Now I also put it a ways from my house. I do have an outdoor access point on the back of my house. So I get pretty good Wi-Fi in the backyard. But I know for a fact that where I'm out of the camera is on the edge and kind of iffy. It didn't seem to have too much of an issue, so it must have a pretty good radio in it. But that is another thing that I'm going to be made, uh, you know, checking on here or there. I do have two other cameras down in that area uh, pointing in different directions, one of which I'm actually going to be fully moving. Um, but they can get a little spotty sometimes. And so I'm expecting the same thing. So it's not a knock on the camera. It's just how far it is away from my house. It's uh, like 150, 200 feet. So that said, that's set up. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Come on back for, to Geek Smart for another future video install setup unboxing. And I will have a link to the full review once I have it up and, and going. So thanks for watching to the end of this video. Hopefully we'll see you again here on Geek Smart. See you soon.